everybody, welcome back. Back to the cheaper zone. You know, this is where I like to be. Today in the spotlight, the Kaiwits. KM312B for your cheaper pleasure. Yeah, we had our Kaiwits extravaganza not too long ago. Wow, those were some awfully good meters. Clamp meters, multimeters, you name it. Uh, this is one of them that I didn't get a chance to review during that extravaganza. If you haven't seen it, check it out. One of the meters I reviewed previously was the KM601, and whoa, that is quite a size differential, isn't it? Um, 601 also ships in this very sweet, hard case. Um, no case for the little one. Um, yeah, that's too bad. But um, anyway, small, diminutive, but is it going to be powerful in the testing genre? Let's take a look. In the manual, you get your test leads. These are pretty small, actually. Um, Pretty well the same size as the meter itself. Uh, they have that nice shrouding These on top. It's a rated top. cat to 600 volts. Um, oh yeah, pretty pointy tip. Um, on the shroud side, maybe, uh, no, it's not short. No, that's good enough. I mean, it, does it stay, does it stay? Oh yeah, look at that. Firm, firm, not going anywhere. Standard PVC, um, but that being said, you know what? Thick gauged wire, probably a little bit thicker than you normally see. 3.6 millimeters to be exact, so uh, nice gauge there. Um, yeah, so decent leads. Also get your tiny little user manual um, in multiple languages. English is one of them. And uh, nice diagram schematics gives us the lowdown on the meter itself, spec wise. Um, yeah looking good speaking of the meter um, no plastic rubberized boot or body um, it's hard plastic it has that nice kind of tactile uh, grips built into the body but it is plastic so you know if this does take a drop or a fall uh, you know who knows what's gonna happen right but that being said um, I, I do like the overall fit and finish quality wise like those seems we don't have a tilt stand decent. on this little meter no tilt stand no magnet in the back so um yeah that's too bad because you need a tilt stand powered by two AAA batteries with a nice brass threaded insert um turning the meter on for the first time puts it into smart mode aka auto mode for voltage ac dc plus resistance and continuity Hitting the function switch once it brings us into manual mode, starting with DC volts, up to 600 volts. AC volts, up to 600 volts. Resistance, up to 40 mega ohm. Continuity, frequency, capacitance, diode, non-contact voltage. Finally, live mode. Once again, no color coding on those inputs, uh, positive and negative. Yes, they are uh, indicated here on the top, but really would love to see that color coding being followed on the inputs themselves. Welcome to Shout Out! My way of saying thanks to all my viewers around the globe. This week's shout out goes to Australia. Good night, mates. Thanks for watching. Also, it has a pretty decent flashlight on the back. Um, all right, we're still in smart mode. Let's try uh, AC voltage. And there you go, true RMS, 119.9. That looks pretty well spot on. DC accuracy, 5.01 volts. So this is really a meter of fours, um, four megahertz for frequency, four millifarad for capacitance, 40 mega ohm, four resistance. So yeah, fours, this thing likes fours. Okay, we're I like fours right now. I'm just gonna put it into resistance in the decade box. And, oh, it's hitting continuity. All right, let's just bring it all back. Starting off with one mega ohm, three mega ohm. Ooh, fairly fast, six mega ohm. 10 mega ohm. Oh yeah, this thing is fast. And don't forget we are in auto smart mode. Let's try 100K, 300K, 600K, one meg. Oh baby, yes, this is definitely got some speed. 10K, 30K, 60K, 100K. Oh baby, oh yeah. I'm saying baby a lot. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. 100 ohm precision resistor coming in as 99.9 ish. Good job. 
Next up, diode mode. Now for this, we have to go out of our auto into manual. There we are, manual mode. Let's get our test leads in place and start off with a standard diode. There's our forward voltage drop looking good. Now we don't have that nice beep. However, we do get the display and on to the red LED. Oh my goodness, it is not lit and we have no forward voltage drop. The red, the same, the green, the blue, the white, not a pinata. Oh, oh man, oh for five for LEDs. Ugh. Well, that explains it. A really dismal 1.8 volts, the output voltage in diode mode. Not enough juice. All right, we are in capacitance now. Remember, this only has a four millifarad, 4,000 microfarad range. So uh, today's standards, not the greatest. This is a 10 millifarad. Uh, no, it didn't, it didn't have any success with that. So let's try this 560 microfarad cap. Shouldn't have a problem with this. Thinking, and there we are. So not the fastest in capacitance mode, but at least it works. So definitely a tiny meter, uh, putting up beside that ETEC City, which I just reviewed, uh, and it looks like a dwarf. So, and yeah, besides the Maztec, even worse. So yeah, definitely small, pocketable, and you know what, that's usually a good thing. Next up is NCV. And as you can see, no test leads required, giving us a high sensitivity, goes from L to H for high, letting us know that indeed we have power. Now let's try this on a light switch as well. And yes, indeed. Looking good. Continuity time. Here we go. These are the stock default test leads. This is where we test the standard test probes along with a set of probe masters just to see how many decibels or DBAs each multimeter is capable of. Is this any good? Let's find out. Well, it is latched. Slow though. And fairly loud, but it is slow. Let's try the Pro Masters. Pro Masters. Oh no, it's still slow. Honestly, I see no difference with the Pro Masters. Ah. Seventy five point five DBA maximum output volume in continuity. Yeah, it's pretty loud. Well, thus far, what do you think? You know, it's not bad. Not bad. Um, a major fail in the diode department. But, you know, other than that, it's pretty decent. OK, let's take a look on the inside. Alrighty, here we are on the inside. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, starting off with the reverse side and no shielding. Um, standard gauge AB plastics going on here. Uh, we have a piece of tape actually holding off the um, red and uh, black positive and negative wires here that's from the um, battery compartment so oh, interesting but check out the way those input jacks are in there isn't that freaky whoa suckers are really extended soldered in at the tip of the PCB um, yeah it's the encasement that goes over it but um, well you know interesting interesting god i love these things all right let's get a little closer all right going in a little bit deeper here is the relay that is what is helping out with that smart configuration for this meter we have one ptc here on the voltage side diode clamp going on main ic is cobbed over here we have our lcd display driver we have some factory headers over here and of course that is the led for the flashlight and mr buzzer for the speaker Interestino. Now, in terms of NCV, I'm not seeing anything else that looks like uh, it's going to help with that NCV other than just this uh, metal tip here at the edge of the PCB, so no extra filament or anything coming out. Now, let's take a look on the other side. Other side, super duper plain, nothing much going on. That is what makes uh, these headers here make contact with the uh, reverse side of the display, which is over here. There's our zebra strip, Elastomar and uh, nice clean housing all together. This is the back drop for that uh, display. Generally speaking, 
it is a tiny but well put together little beast. Uh, here is the soft touch buttons on the other side and uh, once again the plastic housing for the display glass. So all in all, pretty decent the version little of the PCB here is the HT125B version 1.4. So there you have it. Okay, gonna put everything back together. Come back with my closing it's thoughts. Lean, it's the Kiwitz machine, the KM312B. This was a fun little meter to review. And I've gotta say, I did miss the color screen. Yeah, I, I just did. But that being said, with the backlight invoked, this is still a pretty decent looking display. It has a lot going for it. It's got really good performance overall, as long as if you're you just looking for a good overall smart meter that you can throw in your toolbox or car. It's fast to range, has a lot of really decent performing modes. And at the end of the day, you know what? It's a Kiwi's. Too bad it didn't come with a case, but that being said, this is still a really great deal. The Kiwi's KM312B gets a solid 3.5 out of five stars. Don't be shy. Don't let this Kiwis walk on by. Use the product coupon code below and you're gonna save some more money. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. To the next one, keep on testing.